the back of this is going to be black and the sides and it'll be a black first the face is going to be green so whenever i'm shooting this i'm aiming uh, off my guys that makes sense more down i don't know i like to just aim off when i'm doing the two colors like this to avoid overspray on the face might be unnecessary but it's just an added precaution rather than going straight at it like shoot off uh, okay so when i do the side uh, i aim down See? Like, like that Okay, there. The back and the sides are black. Okay, now what I'll do is turn my fan way down, my air down, and uh, to, uh, it's not even a burst. I'm just going to hit uh, the peak right here. I'll burst it later after I put the green. Right now I'm just trying to get that crest of that corner. The separation between the veneer and knots. talking about right there. That's kind of on the side, not on the top. So when I when I do the first, I want that little area to already be covered. Okay. So I'm barely pulling the trigger. Just enough to get some material on that little fine edge there. Okay. And with a little bit it gets on the face, that's alright. I'm going to make a small narrow burst here. Alright. Alright, now it's green time. See where that black gun? Put my green gun on there. Uh, I'll take a tag rag and wipe off the face just, just to be a little more certain that there's no overspray on there. Okay. Then I'll blow it off. Push that tack rag left any fuzzies. I don't want those on there. Okay. And the green here. This is candy green mixed with lacquer. All this is lacquer. The black with lacquer. This is candy green mixed with lacquer. Okay. This part's easy. You just put green on it. No magic here, just green. There we go. I'll do a couple more passes because I know in a lot of these videos, people will say, oh wow, you should have stopped after the first coat. It really looked great, you know? And right now, the phone is the camera, the screen on my phone, is uh, looks so much darker than it really is. Like over here, it's definitely much more color. But when I look on my phone, eh, it looks a lot greener so anyway so there we go there green 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 candy green it's soaking wet right with my black gun back 
back in black but make sure it's really small and while that green is wet I'm gonna burst it but I'm gonna make it real small with a little bit of air okay again I'm just gonna aim I'm not worried about the burst right now as much as I'm just more focused on putting paint right on that edge again okay and the farther away you get you just put paint right on that edge but you back up a little bit when you do it the width of the burst gets a little wider right because the paint's just dispersing more but that's how you get it even you just keep aiming on that edge and the burst just turns out even even in width all the way around And if you want it to be a little wider, and then uh, what you have, you just back up a little bit more. Or you can pull the trigger a little bit more, so more material is coming up. But with the top like this, you don't want to hide the wood, so you want a little a narrow burst, right? Just something like that. So there it is. Back on the black, 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 back, black on the back, and uh, green on the face with a little a baby burst.